One month ago, the Utes were 0-2 in the Pac-12, and UCLA was 0-4 on the season. So much can change in a month. Tonight, the Utes and Bruins battle in the Rose Bowl for first place in the Pac-12 South. Both teams have come a long way. The Utes have won their last two trips to Pasadena. An unexpected star. UCLA running the rock effectively on fourth and one. Joshua Kelly has more than a yard. He has 25 for a touchdown. Bruins up 7-3. to three. Zach Mosso racking up a lot of yards in the first half. A 60-yard run gets caught, though, just short of the goal line. Utes looking to take the lead, but instead, an interception in the red zone. Was it pass interference against Quinton Lake? I think so. Pretty obvious, but the Pac-12 refs look the other way. Utah would respond. A great drive, some razzle-dazzle. Covey to Cole Fotheringham for the touchdown. It's Covey's second touchdown pass of the year. Utes so good lately, Raiders fans are jumping on the bandwagon. More Covey highlights. This time, a nice punt return. UCLA can't grab him. He's got the edge. Can he go? Oh, just one guy to beat. 30-yard return. Moss scores moments later. He's got 141 yards in the first half, and right now it's halftime. Utes up 17-7. to A sports beat presentation. Game night live. The Road to Rice Cycle Stadium continues as the playoffs are underway in all classifications. Plenty of familiar programs in the mix. Others looking to make a splash, like Kearns. They haven't won a playoff game since 1993. 13 straight playoff losses. Could the Cougars break through against Northridge? Jeff Bassett for Kearns on a monster game. This is his third touchdown in the first half. A 67-yard touchdown. The Cougars up 26-14 at the half. Kearns will go up 37-21 in the third quarter after a field goal safety in this touchdown by Isaiah Afatasi. Northridge would make a comeback, though. Jacob Rhodes, a 30-yard touchdown, and it's an eight-point game. Now four minutes left in the game. A quarterback sneak. Colby Browning gets it across. Two-point conversion is good. We're tied at 37. Let's go to the end of regulation. Two seconds left. Kearns backup kicker, Jason Rodriguez. A 29-yard attempt for the win. How about that? He got it. The frustration is over. The Cougars move on. They win 40-37. to 37. Another thriller. Viewmont and Provo just over a minute left. Tied at 14. Viewmont quarterback Dutcher lines. A long completion to Britton Anderson. That set up the chance for a game-winning field goal attempt. 28 yards from Gabe Johnson. He's got it. Time expires and Viewmont expires the Bulldogs 17-14. A shootout in Logan. Grizzlies hosting Pineview. Third quarter, Logan's Johnny Parkinson. Going deep to Tim Van Leeuwen. 45-yard touchdown. Grizzlies take a 42-41 lead. Fourth quarter, Pineview answers Tosh Wright. He's not easy to tackle. A five-yard touchdown run. Panthers back up front. 47-42 in the Panther offense. Keeps rolling. 27 points in the fourth. Wright with another score. They win this one 68-50. That is not a typo. Salem Hills in Park City. Skyhawks leading 17-7 in the second. Kirby Barnes picks off the pass, and he's going to take it back for a touchdown. That lead down to three. Then with two minutes left in the half, Park City quarterback Jack Skidmore is going to find Mark McCurdy for the touchdown. 28-24 the score, and that would be the final. Park City advances to the quarterfinals. When we come back, a shootout in Riverton, a BYU commit scores five touchdowns and Bingham in a tight battle with Harriman. The playoff highlights continue. Riverton hosting a playoff game for the first time in four years. Their reward, a matchup with one of the best teams in the state. American Fork, a three seed in Region 4 after a coin flip. They played a lot better than that this season. American Fork led 17-14 in the third. Chase Roberts on the kickoff, oh, takes it at the 13, and Roberts... One man to beat, and he's got it. BYU commits, got a kickoff return for a touchdown. They were up 24-14. Next play for Riverton, Dane McDonald for Riverton. Carter Miller, the catch. He's going to outrun everybody. We got an 80-yard touchdown. These teams are putting up a lot of points, 24-21. But then American Fork would rattle off 28 straight. Boone Abbott to Chase Roberts. Roberts with four touchdown receptions plus the kickoff return. Five touchdowns as American Fork beats Riverton in our KSL TV app game of the week. Alta at Olympus. Fourth quarter, they're rocking out there. Alta making it interesting. Keller Ellison takes the kickoff. He's going to go all the way, 98 yards. Alta has life. 
But that was really all the spark Alta had. Olympus gets the win and moves on 27-6. Noah Benny with two touchdowns. Harriman Bingham, first quarter. Jackson James for Harriman. Finds Fisher Jackson at 7-0 Mustangs. But Bingham would eventually get things rolling. Second quarter, Andrew Wimmer. He's going to go in for the touchdown. He'd have two on the night. And after a fumble recovery, Ivana Hall seals the win with his two-yard touchdown. Bingham moves on with a 2010 win. Skyridge, winners of eight straight, hosting Farmington in the first round. Farmington's first ever playoff game in school history. First quarter, Jaden Clemens for Skyridge airs it out. Nathan Upham has it. Falcons up 7-0. Later in the first, Clemens, he'll keep it himself this time. He breaks some tackles and powers into the end zone for six. It was all Skyridge. Second quarter, Clemens is going to go to Dylan Samuels. And Skyridge beats Farmington 56-7. Just a little bit more south, Lone Peak hosting West Jordan. Second quarter, Braden Seary. Thomas Doman over the middle. He's going to take it to the one-inch line. Knights pounded it in from there. Then right before the half, Seary finds Ragin' Hansen in the end zone. Knights led 44-7 at the half. Third quarter. Child to Mason Wake, and he's going to go up over the top and in for six. Lone Peak advances with his 57-28 win. Tawilla facing 4A's number one Orem. Deflected pass picked off by Jake Wergler. He's gone 65 yards with the pick six. Then on the next drive for Tawilla, they're going to put the ball on the ground. And we got a scoop and score by Jaden Ayu. The defense getting it done in this one. Orem wins 68-12. to Ogden back in the playoffs for the first time in a while. Spanish Fork, the host, Parks. Swenson, the screen pass, and Noah Conway, he breaks a couple tackles. He's going to go in for the score. It was 28-0 Dawes at that point. Next drive, Swenson going deep to Conway again, airing it out for a 44-yard touchdown. The Dons win big, 58-22. Up next, Skyview undefeated in the regular season. Could they stay that way after the first round of the playoffs? We'll find out next. Skyview trying to re remain perfect, hosting Snow Canyon in the first round of the 4A playoff. Skyview getting it done early. This is Tanner Stokes. Takes the handoff, makes the first guy miss. He makes everybody miss. It's an 88-yard touchdown. The Bobcats are up 14 to nothing. Let's go to the second quarter now. Stokes does it again. This time a little hook and lateral. And Skyview's offense was just getting started. They put up 61 points on Snow Canyon. Tanner Stokes and Mason Falslove had two touchdowns each. All right, we have a lot more to show you on Game Night Live tomorrow at 6 o'clock, including Pleasant Grove beating East. The Leopards are out in the first round of the playoffs. We'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m.